Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include how Euro fat cats are paid more than the Prime Minister, Ashtonistan, the Baroness jets off to Bishkek, UK looks for an EU exit stage left, more financial regulation for tackling the imploding EU markets, and also top 20 concerns in the single European market. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. From the front page, the EU gravy train is still careering toward the fiscal cliff and it's loaded with EU fat cats. This story looks at how more than 3,000 EU fat cat bureaucrats are being paid more than the Prime Minister's £142,000 a year salary. This is a sour tale and it needs deeper investigation. Baroness Catherine Ashton jetted off to the EU Central Asia Ministerial Meeting today. This is the ninth Asian Ministerial Meeting and Catherine will be dashing from stand to stand, waving the Union flag. We'll keep you posted on the outcome. It appears the wider view from around Europe is that the Brits are off. Apparently the UK's tough stance on renegotiation has got the goat of our EU neighbours who are taking an equally stubborn stance, reckoning the UK will pack up and ship out. Great story this, and there is more to come in mid-December. OK, a more in detail report in our legislation section takes a look at an EU report on EMIR regulation. The nuts and bolts are all about wrestling with the banksters and derivatives peddlers in an attempt to get them on a tighter leash. Now, this is a tough read and a tough task trying to keep the market makers sticky fingers out of the cookie jar. But for those with a passion for interpreting complex financial reports, we'd love to get your take on it. Post your comments to us via YouTube or, of course, email us from the website. Coming down the tubes will be additional European parliamentary resolutions. Apparently, EU Commission working documents have highlighted some concerns citizens have about the functioning of the single market. Surely not. The list makes an enlightening reading. One idea that made me giggle was that social security procedures are too complex for migrating citizens. We'll watch this space and we'll keep you updated. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Lightning News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>